video series eh, once again wherein I will try to share my knowledge on home defense, weapons, self-defense, and many more. Last time we talked about uh, my preferred uh, self-defense firearms at home. No choice kayo na, pare-pares tayo na ako karantine eh. In this video, I will try to explain and share to you my suggestions to enhance your home's security. We will also discuss the connection between a person's action or decisions in certain scenarios and its connection to situational awareness. We will just try to discuss it briefly. Kasi masyado mahaba yung video. Naririnig niyo ba yun? In actual uh, view, we won't be able to look at it directly because the spotlight is very bright. And besides the spotlight, I also placed a security alarm on it. When I hold onto the skate and try to open it, look at what will happen. what you call the IP cam or the fish eye cam V380 to be exact the V380 is quite cheap I bought it in Lazada it's worth uh, I think a thousand bucks Old school CCTV cameras with night vision. They are all tactically placed to see the surroundings of the house. Another thing I want to show you is the motion detection or sensor light type. Uh, it detects movement. Watch this, okay, watch this. See? I place it all around the house for security purposes. Well, guys, kung mapapansin nyo sa background ko, yung setup ko ng CCTV sa bahay. Bale, bukod sa monitor, I can watch it online then kahit nasa akong parte ng mundo. For example, nasa province ko ako, nasa US. Madali ko siyang mapanood dahil nakakonect din siya sa internet. Actually, nowadays, it's much more affordable sa mga tao ang CCTV cameras. Kahit saan, kahit sa mga online shopping, you can buy cheap security products, yung mga IP cams, pwede na rin yun. Although hindi masyado siya uh, tumatagal, pero pwede pa rin kasi minsan makakatsamba ka ng medyo maganda. Gaya nung sa akin, matagal na po yung uh, fish eye camera ko na yun. Siguro nasa 3 years na, 4 years. Nasira na po yun nung, nung mga 2 years ago. Then this year lang, nung tinest ko, gumagana siya ulit. So, ano naman kung wala kang budget? sa mga CCTV cameras at sa baril. Gusto nyo po bang mag-recommend ako? For example, isang gabi, may narinig po kayong pumakalansin sa bahay sa labas ng bakura nyo. Eh, wala po kayo ng mga gaya ng mga sinabi kong spotlight, mga ilaw, CCTVs. Ano po kaya ang may recommend akong tools para makita nyo sila sa kadiliman? Ito po ay hindi isang practical na gadget na nabili po ng aking may bahay na regalo sa akin noong birthday. Pulo bilang po kasi ako. Binibigyan lang ako. Ito po yung tinatawag na night vision. Night vision. 
camera. Kumbaga, matatanaw mo ang mga taong nagtatago sa kabiliman. Uh, hindi po ito mura kasi mahal po siya. Kaya nga po hindi mura eh, mahal eh. Pero very effective po ito. Mga around uh, 8,000, 9,000 po ang bilid ko. Ang tatak po nito ay Bablog. Saan po kayo ito ba? Bablog. Bawaligtad po ba o tama ba? Basta yun, Bablog. Sa Lazada ko po, sa Lazada ko binili ng may bahay ko ito. Uh, kung ako lang eh, wala po kong pera eh. Dukha lang po ako. Pero dahil ito yung nirigalo sa akin dahil kaya yeah, ako'y nagpapasalamat sa nagbigay. Monocular ang tawag dito. Kasi po, isa lang ang silipan. Pag dalawa po, binoculars na ang tawag. Gets niyo po? Bino tsaka mono. Para bisikleta, bicycle. Kasi dalawa po yung gulong. Wala pong moisicle. Bicycle lang po. Ito po ay isang example sa isang surveillance na ginawa namin few months ago. Gabi po ito, mga around 12 o'clock p.m. siyempre. Sa lagitang halis na ito. Makikita niyo po yung liwanag ng video with night vision. Kung papansin niyo po, yung mga action ko ng paglalagay ng mga security devices ay dahil ang situational awareness skill ko ay na-develop ko. Ang resulto po nito ay yung paglalagay mismo ng mga security devices dahil ina-assess ko po ang seguridad ng aking bahay bago po ako gumawa ng isang hackback. Ang situational awareness ay nade-develop po ng tao. Hindi po ito automatic response. Hindi katulad ng gaya ng bata pa tayo na pag may nakakatawa, natawa tayo. Or pag may nakita tayo nakakatakot, natatakot tayo. Hindi po. Hindi po lahat ng tao ay may situational awareness. Lalo na po yung mga teenagers. Medyo wala pa sila dun sa level na yun eh. Karamihan po ng may mga situational awareness ay may mga karanasan or training, emergencies, ganun, or nasa law enforcement mga tao, yan. Usually, matatalas po ang situational awareness nila. Kasi po, uh, they tend to expect the unexpected. Always expect the unexpected. Sa paglabas mo ng bahay, sa pagbili mo sa grocery store, at kunwari, nag-withdraw ka lang sa ATM. This is what you call situational awareness. One type is when you come from an ATM machine and of course, after withdrawing some amount of money, you would look around to see if there's somebody or there's any threat around you. I will show you a clip from the movie Born Identity. Uh, ang artista po dito si Matt Damon. Medyo exage po yung uh, definition niya dito ng situational awareness. I can tell you the license plate numbers of all six cars outside. I can tell you that our waitress is left-handed and the guy sitting up at the counter weighs 215 pounds and knows how to handle himself. I know the best place to look for a gun is the cab of the gray truck outside. And at this altitude, I can run flat out for a half mile before my hands start shaking. Now, why would I know that? Bago tayo pa palayo, ah. Sino ba nakadiscover ng itawag na awareness, awareness na yan, yung situational awareness? Huwag niyo po ako pagbintangan, wala po akong kinalaman dyan, ah. Siya po ay si Colonel John Boyd. Hindi po John Lloyd, ah. John Boyd. 
Colonel John Boyd, a war theorist. He was the one who developed the OODA loop, which means observe, orient, decide, and act. It is the four-step approach in decision-making and also focuses on filtering available information. Putting it in context and quickly making the most appropriate decision while also understanding that changes can be made as more data becomes available. There are four concepts of the OODA loop. The maneuver warfare, the mental models, the situational awareness, and the reaction time. We will just focus on the situational awareness because we're not in the military or any. What is the what is situational awareness? This is the comprehension of all environmental stimuli. It involves perceiving all components of a situation, understanding what they mean and using them to make future judgments. Achieving situational awareness is crucial for most decision-making process, including the OODA loop, including today, including what I have showed you a while ago. All of those is because of You're traveling along uh, somewhere in Quezon City. Alam nyo, when it comes to catastrophes, not necessarily this virus, usually, yung bad side ng tao lumalabas. In the worst, the worst part of the human. Personalities lumalabas. Kaya hindi natin masasabi, but not implying, what I always say in my videos, I'm not implying anything. 